Uh, we're doing ammo compatibility, so making sure these short 5.56 guns function properly with a wide range of ammunition. That's really what we're doing. All right, we got mag six, yeah? Yep, mag six. That was like 50-50 on that. We're doing a function test. This is ammo validation function test on 9.69 inch 5.56 honey badger. So we're testing short barrels. We've got sliding mass in the recoil system. We've got a new gas block. We got different adjustment screws. We got all kinds of fun new crap. We finally brought that all together. And now we're gonna validate that the guns work with popular commercial ammo. Um, so we pick nine of the most common specifications. And we're shooting our way through with five guns today. We're going to put a thousand rounds on each gun. So I'm loading mags and it's important because if we do have malfunctions, we have to know why. So I'm checking ammo as they come in into my hand, making sure that the rounds are in good condition. And then uh, right now we're just in turn one. so. We're shooting a six mag firing schedule. That's six mags as fast as you can practically aim and shoot the trigger, pull the trigger. So we're shooting at a target. All right, so we're gonna go to gun three, mag one. Three mag two. Yep. Uh, I guess I'm Mr. File Guy. Keep a track of all the stuff so we remember what we did later on. Uh, we'll, so we're looking at ejection and potential failures with uh, running too hard, running too slow. Uh, we can also check the relative speed of the bulk carrier group. Make sure we're running at the right speed and we're not running too hard, not running too slow. Um, and any hang-ups, we'll catch through the window of the ejection. This is high speed, so if we have a malfunction, we'll stop it and we'll look and see in slow-mo what went wrong, how it went wrong, dissect from there, decide how we want to progress. cooling fixture. I just put it in there. Oh, the other one was cold. Then. I thought this was the one that's been this in one there. This one I just shot. I thought that was the one that's been in There's there. There's a number on it. I didn't look. She's hot. Still? Yeah. Gun four, mag one. Uh, mag one. Gold.
spend all this money just looking for failures. Yeah. Failure to feed, failure to chamber, failure to fire, failure to extract, failure to eject, poor ejection. Uh, we try to shoot every round on target because that's really what you're trying to do is strike a target with a projectile. So if it doesn't do that, we got to look into it. But really, it's any functional failure at this point. Do you like shooting unsuppressed? No, it's dog shit. Yeah, Ron, we'll get on here. Right on here. Rock and roll. Great. Some of the bull catch to, to see how much it wants to jump around at uh, the time when the carrier hits the back of the receiver extension. It's the reason we did the balanced bolt catch. Guns get lighter and run faster, like in 5.56 versus 300 blackout. So you're going to get more jump in the bolt catch. So we're just checking our progress. It's just like we have, there's no time for it to come up now. Like before we were, I feel like it's, we're closing so much faster, right? I bet it's time of impact. Mostly. The time of impact is kind of fast. Like that, that's when it's going to, that's when it's going to fast. With super short and lightweight guns, you see uh, the parts in the gun move around a ton on impact of the carrier at the rear of the tube. So, standard bolt catches the center of mass is really far away from the center of rotation of the part. So, that means that when the carrier hits rearward, the parts fly everywhere and bounce around and cause problems. So, with the balanced bolt catch, we added a bunch of mass lower than the pivot point of the part. What that does is helps keep it still under impact of recoil and makes it so your catch stays still during the entire cycle of the gun. I'm gonna run through a bunch of specs and see what we can find. Just preliminary stuff with this new rifle system. She's running her tits right off. Seems 
faster than it needs to. Six more mags. I think OJ did it. Like I, I don't see how you could think otherwise. Oh, my back. Today we are doing a additional testing on the 556 five, uh, 25 gun production part run. So the parts are production made, meaning we didn't. The ones we made in house, that should go in there. Fuck, I can't do both things. Meaning, uh, a lot of the prototype parts we did for the first testing, uh, we made on our machines, uh, and then sent them out to vendors. And now these are the vendor made parts. Um, kind of checking our QC process, our assembly process, and uh, most importantly, the function of the new product. If I can get this fucking detent to go in. I remember my first. Fuck you, James. Functionality testing is just a bunch of different ammo specs, different power ranges, and different weights um, to just test the overall function of the gun, suppressed and unsuppressed. Uh, just gives a full picture of what to expect in large runs over many years of guns. Uh, you want to cover all the ammos, because people are going to shoot all the ammos, good or not good. Uh, and you want to make sure that we, you know, we're not going to have a bunch of them come back or shit like that. You just want to cover all your bases before you actually release the product. That's all it is. It's just a wide range of, of testing. It's the right way to do it. The new Honey Badger 556 comes with a different recoil system. So we got a regular mil spec front end, custom ass end. Tungsten ball weight buffer system in the back that's captured in this ass OD spring. Regular upper 556 five, barrel. And it's not as annoying to put together. It's a 300 blackout version. No more bleeding fingers, hopefully. Okay. It might even be a lower tower. Like if you if you have a problem right away, we'll know. Anyone else seen sparks? Yeah, once in a while you see sparks. Okay. Out, yeah. What happened? We had two like straight up no pickup, like short, like it didn't short stroke though, it ejected with distance as if the mag was mm. not locked in. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why, and I hit it the second time and it did it immediately. So either had a burr, cause we had a burrs in those barrels last night. Yeah, I know. And we blew it out with, with the hotter round or something. Should we set that mag on fire? Yeah, we'll uh, retire it for good measure. <laughs>
Thanks for the day.